Hello Alan Class fans, hello Mystery and Suspense fans, hello Atom Age fans and hello comic community in general. Welcome to another episode. Um, I'm doing five today, I'm doing one as a, uh, a back issue from my vault collection, shall we say, and four issues that landed today. Now, if you've been following this channel, you'll remember that last week I mentioned that I think 90% of Alan Class covers are absolutely fantastic and 10% in my humble opinion, not so fantastic. Um, adding to that, uh, it seems that every Alan Class comic that has a Marvel character on the front cover, the prices are pushing up and up and up. Um, that's not de declassing, uh, debunking any other cover, but that's just the way it is with Alan Class. The Marvel covers uh, are pushed up in value, so I'm very surprised to to get four this week, which are pretty hard to find. Um, yeah, got them, got them nicely, but I wanted to make this a, a five episode, a five comic episode as such, like all my previous ones. Um, so I thought I'd kick off with this one, which hasn't got a Marvel character, but is an issue that is quite hard to find. Um, featuring Mandrake, the magician. This is Creepy Worlds number 93. And I also wanted to keep um, this week's episode within the Creepy Worlds title. So that is a crazy, crazy cover. And uh, even with it being number 93, it's still an early Creepy Worlds one. Um, Pre-decimal, one shilling price point. Beautiful. I've actually had several collectors reach out to me. Um, saying if you find any Mandrake covers, Mandrake the Magician, and you've got spares, then please let me know. I don't know, is something happening in the Mandrake the Magician world? Is there a film about to come out or something? Again, it's not really in my wheelhouse, whereas Alan Class is, so, you know, I can't keep up to date with everything that's going on, basically. So yeah, that's a superb cover. I mean, look at that. Look at the background, look at those eyes, those menacing eyes. And that's just the background. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. But the four that I had in today, uh, let me see now, quickly take a peek out of the camera's eye. Yeah, I've seen this particular one several times, but it's always been in such really tatty condition. So I've always just, just gone, forget it, I'm not having it just passed it by so um, and again remember that the creepy worlds well to be fair any Alan class comic with a Marvel character on the cover the prices command uh, a higher price than ones that don't that's a long wieldy sentence isn't it so this is creepy worlds 114 uh, with daredevil and stiltman not a bad looking issue it's got a few a few issues a few problems around the spine area but that is typical of alan class's uh spined what's the word for it it's gone it's uh it's it's absolutely gone it's the way the alan class issues were produced basically non-stapled under pressure and the term for it is completely gone but again, that, uh, that's not a bad one, bar that, that little spine issue, which I've seen far, far worse, to be honest. So yeah, I have seen this go for, I think the last time I saw it sold, I think it went for nearly 70 pounds. So I got all these four for well under 70 pounds. I was just, just lucky. And communicating with the seller, he was a really nice guy as well. Nice fella to talk to. So yeah, 114. Marvel cover, Daredevil. Really nice. Um, Creepy Worlds 115. Now this is one you just don't really see out there at all. I, th I think this is probably... Is it, it's only about the second time I've ever seen it anywhere. But anyhow, Daredevil again. Daredevil. 
You see, you've got to put into your mind if you're collecting Alan Class comics that some of these issues just aren't available. Um, never mind commanding high prices. If they're not in the market, they're not in the market. You can't find them whatever price. So I'm very surprised to find this one available. That's a superb DD. Obviously that's not a DD straight cover from the American Marvels. Um, it's obviously um, a layout for the inside. But that's great, that's great. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, 115. Moving on to the third one I received this week. This is Creepy Worlds 116. Again, another fantastic Daredevil cover. Uh, I think, yeah, 115 was a pre decimal one shilling. And this is just on the cusp of where decimalization came in. So this is one shilling and also five pence. See, it's good that Alan Class, they were thinking what to do. Uh, put the tea prices on the cover because it meant that their comic could stay on the shelf longer. Look at that, isn't that fantastic? Gorgeous colours as well, they've, they've kept their uh, their depth of clarity over time. Nothing's really faded on this one. And again, this is another one that you don't really see out in the open. Again, this is the... Uh, I think this is the first time I ever saw it for sale. I've never seen this one before. But uh, that, that's just beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I like that a lot. Very much so. Wow, this is a quick video. I think this one is going to be under a 10 minute. So the last one of today, incredibly gone so fast. I mean, maybe I might be rushing through these. I've got uh, quite a lot to sort out today. Um, I wouldn't have been able to film this video yesterday. Uh, we lost a family member. I lost one of my pooches uh, yesterday. So yesterday was a, a very tough day to get through. So, uh, and I went to work, which was a bad mistake doing that because I was all over the place. Uh, good job it was quiet. So yeah, yesterday wasn't great. I lost, I lost my beautiful, um, big brain beauty. I lost Kim. So I've just got little Frankie at the moment. So we're going to try and find him a partner today. And um, yeah, get on with moving on. Um, yeah, yesterday was a shambles of a day. It's horrible. So anyhow, moving back to the subject in hand. This is the last one for today. Creepy Worlds One Seventeen. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is a great cover again, Matt Murdock, Daredevil. And yet another one that you just don't see out there. So in spite of me saying, yeah, I'm majoring just on the suspense title at the moment until I complete them, I saw these four. Uh, and this was actually the second time the seller listed them. And I, I missed it by the by about an hour. And I kind of like remember, you know, you're, <laughs> you're looking at the the damn listing to buy and you think oh yeah it ends but it's about an hour and then you completely you go off and do something else and you miss the bloody thing which is what I did the first time round the second time round nobody bought it by the way obviously so the the seller relisted it again and uh, I made damn sure that I was the buyer for this one and again I was the only buyer the only bidder rather so kept myself very very lucky What does that say? Yes. So yeah, um, a cover I've not seen out in the market for the first time. So yeah, very, very lucky. I think the comic was destined to be in my collection. He says, hopefully noting, I only say that because as far as I could see, there were no, no other bidders. No one bidded against me. This must've just gone under the radar. So, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's superb. They're all superb. They all have great covers. And uh, at any other time, uh, or maybe sold singly, these maybe could have commanded, at a guess, judging by the previous one, 
maybe you know 60 70 pounds per copy each one so I kept myself very very lucky in, in acquiring these and I'm going back to looking purely for suspense and there's something else wonderful like these come across but um, hey sometimes you're in the right place at the right time sometimes you're not that's the way the cookie crumbles so everyone thank you for tuning in and watching this slightly rushed video so much to do today as I mentioned before but um, it's always appreciated uh, when you when I see that you comment I, lo I love everybody that, that comments it's fantastic everybody's gonna get a reply from me I make that a, an absolute thing to do you know always will reply to your lovely comments thanks for sticking with the channel um, with its ponderously slow growth but I don't care so much about that anymore uh, I'm just here to show you what I've got and I hope you enjoy what I show you so um, everybody have a great weekend have a fantastic week ahead and uh, busy busy Ken's gonna go right now so um, bye for now